Hi guys, today is, I will start um, a part of series which is high yield series, around two or three minutes every on each video. So let's start with cardiology. So now the case is this severe chest pain. Okay, this chest pain radiated to what to where to the shoulder. Now chest pain radiated to the shoulder. Now what is the workup will be the first first things. Troponin and CKMB high. This is the first. Second, go to the ECG. If you will see ECST uh, depression. Uh, no Q wave, so Q wave is negative, or ST elevation and the Q wave positive. Now, if ST depression, that means where is the disease? The location of the disease now you are talking about sub endocardial problem. So now your problem is in sub endocardial tissue. Either you have ischemia in sub endocardial tissue or you will have necrosis. Okay, again. This is really, really so important, ischemia and necrosis. Now, it's your time. If the problem is ischemia, now this is what? This is unstable angina, okay? If the problem is necrosis, what is this? It is subendocardial MI, okay? That's, I think it's easy. Now, what, how about the other things? If the ST, if you will have ST elevation, with positive EQ wave, now the differential diagnosis, what is the tissue involved? It, I am now talking about transmural tissue. Now, now I'm talking about the whole, the whole thickness. So transmural tissue. Again, keep it in your mind. Troponin C can be increased in both of them. So now we are talking about transmural tissue. The pathology, what is the pathology? It is necrosis. And now, now what is the diagnosis after all of this? It is transmural. MI or transmural myocardial infarction. Okay.